Hey craft friends, DM Scotty back with part three of the covered wagon video. If you haven't watched part one and two and you want to build the wagon first before you paint it, this is generally the painting of the wagon, make sure you watch those two videos first. Uh, but if you're on this part, watch away and uh, paint your wagon. Ah, get it, paint your wagon. Uh, okay, let's go to the table. Got my wagon here. I spray painted it flat black and then uh, painted it to, with a dark burnt umber. And now I'm going to use a Mississippi mud to uh, kind of give this some detail. So I'll just uh, drag this bristly brush across uh, the surface, going for like a wood like texture. Now trying to totally fill it in. And see, I'm leaving those gaps between the boards, those darker gaps, trying to fill in more the center of the wooden piece to uh, give it some uh, interesting color variation. And so I'll do the uh, all the slats there, the uh, the uh, pull uh, board, the bottom there. Get the axles, the tires. And really going for that wood look, not trying to totally cover it. And you see that uh, burnt un umber underneath. And there we go, looking nice. All right. Now I want to do some more color variation. I'm going to use kind of a moccasin brown and just kind of paint on top of the other. And see, I'm really getting a nice color variation there, right? So just the same thing. Just go over everything. Make sure you hit all the sides. There are a lot of different uh, angles and size to this cart here. So you want to make sure you hit everything. And uh, just go over all the boards. Look how that's really coming to life there with the extra the extra color there. Nice. Really nice. So, and this uh, bristly brush really helps to do this. A softer brush would be a little harder to do. Okay, there we go. Nice. Really looking nice. Alright. So, here we go. I'm going to use my um, uh, gun metal here. And there's a few parts I'm going to do the gun metal. I want to do the yokes. Um, gun metal. So I'm going to paint those. That's just the cardstock. So I'm just painting that with the gun metal. And I like to use the gun metal because it gives you it gives you the metal look, but it doesn't give you a, you know the overly shiny you know white knight look you know shining knight look. It gives you the used older look. So there we go. Get the uh, hubcaps on there or the wheel centers. I guess I should say. And uh, looking nice. Be careful. Try not to get it on the tire or the wheel. Just paint the center there. Really nice. That detail is really popping out of those uh, center uh, centers of the tire there. And now I'm going to use a small brush here. I'm just going to kind of accentuate some of these creases, right? The, uh, the uh, crease between the uh, seat and the wagon itself. Uh, the tires where they split. Uh, where we did the two splits with the wood pieces around the uh, center of the tire there. See, that's just really popping out. And use water when you do this. Don't do it. Don't do it uh, straight out of the uh, the top because it'll be too dark. I like to wet it down. Wet down the brush quite a bit. It takes a bit of practice to get uh, the right uh, wetness and thickness of the paint. But you know, if you do it too Thin, you can always add more, so it's probably better to err on the the side of thin than it is to, to do it too thick, right? You can use your thumb to finger to remove some excess paint if you get it on there. Get it in the crevices. There we go, nice. Doing the uh, underside here, undercarriage. Been really good. Wow, look how that pops out. Okay, here's the base. Just gonna be this is gonna be super easy. I'm just gonna use kind of a darkish brown. Um, put it on there for the first coat. Just using a large brush here. Just dry brush it on. And you want the different colors. You don't want to just color it all one color. You want the different colors because it really gives it a nice variation of color. 
So there we go, muddy trail. Now I'm going to use an off-white. It's kind of a linen color. And I'm just going to paint this uh, with that first. I'm, I'm doing it very wet, okay? And I really like this technique of, the, of, of doing it wet first because um, you really pick out uh, those details. It's kind of almost like a reverse dry brush. Okay, so filling that in. Make sure you get the edges. All right, put another coat on there, just straight out of the cap. And here it is dried. You can see it's dried up quite a bit, a lot darker than it looked when we put it on. So now I'm going to use a white, and I'm going to dry brush with the white. Just really pick out those, all those details we spent the time putting on here to make it look like a cloth. So I'll just dry brush that. And there we go. Really, those details are really popping out of there. Look at that. Really nice. All right, now we'll go to the table and look at it, see what it looks like on the table. Here's a completed wagon at a trail scene. And the base is just great because you can just push the whole thing along, and that's just so handy to do. Uh, let me turn it a little closer so you can see it. Got the yoke with the pull bar through there. Got the oxen on the front. Uh, really looking good. Uh, give you a kind of a 360 there. Got the drover and our friend Roderick. And we'll turn it around to the back, and we got some cargo uh, stashed in the back of the wagon. So really, really nice and easy. All right, let's put you back on the trail. And we'll take this apart a little bit to show you some of the components. So we got the yoke with the oxen. And you could replace the oxen with other animals if you want. That's what I like about it. You could just pull the oxen right out from the yoke there. And it's cardstock, so it's easy just it will bend a little bit. And then these oxen I got from some tubes. They're actually bulls, and I just used them as oxen for this. Uh, I got them from the animal tubes. I just use them as oxen for the cart. So I'll give you a closer look here. Uh, pull our friends off the wagon. And uh, they're nice, uh, just really nice and simple. You can uh, remove the canopy of the wagon. We got some supplies in there. Ooh, we lost some supplies. And it's just really solid, uh, nice. Put that back on the base. And you could just have a regular wagon without even the canopy. That's why the one thing I like about the uh, being able to take the canopy off. So if you need to access it for gameplay or you just don't want the canopy, you can pull it right off. So there we go. And uh, I really like the seat. You really want to make the seat uh, for play purposes. So I made it a little wider than a wagon seat might be. Hey, craft friends. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Craft. If you did, make sure to give your Scotty a like. Also, uh, make sure to join my Facebook and forum group. Lovely bunch of people with some great, great ideas, and we'd love to share with everybody. Uh, also, make sure to uh, consider tipping uh, DM Scotty if you really enjoy these videos and you get something out of them, and you want to help, uh, help a DM out, uh, you can do the tip jar. Also, um, my uh, Patreon group is growing, and uh, become a member of the family. I have uh, new levels of pledging. Uh, $3 level, you'll get mentioned in a video. Dollar level, you get my new monthly magazine, which is going to be so awesome. Packed full of fun DM Scotty ideas. And last but not least, go forth and craft. Rollin', 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 rawhide. All the things I'm missing, good vittles, love, and kissing are waiting at the end of my ride. Move them on, head them up, cut them out, ride them in, rawhide. Eh? What'd you say, Roderick? <laughs>